This podcast is sponsored by Crankham's Whisper Tongue, the artificial tongue that turns everything you say into a whisper. Relax with Dr. Giles Poden. Episode 7, Deep Dreams. Hello, my name is Dr. Giles Poden, and I'm a fully qualified medical practitioner. If you don't believe me, just ask my wife. She's right here. Am I a fully qualified medical practitioner? Yes. Thank you. In this podcast, we're going to be talking about dreams. A lot of scientists claim they don't know the real reason why we dream, but that just makes me think they're not very good scientists. I know why we dream, and I know why you dream, and I know why I dream, and to be honest, I even know why scientists dream. You can think of dreams as clues from another world, Clues about how you are living your life, or what you are doing right or wrong, and even clues about people you know and what they're getting up to. For instance, if you dream that Richard at work has stolen something from you, then that's a clue. Richard at work probably has stolen something from you, so you should confront him about it and ask him to give your property back. Many people think dreams are more symbolic. For instance, if they dream about a tortoise, They presume that it's a sign they need to slow down, but that's wrong. If you dream about a tortoise, it usually means that there's one nearby, so check under your chair or outside your front door. Nine times out of ten, you'll find a tortoise there. It's easy to quickly forget your dreams when you awake, which is why I recommend you sleep next to a very large glass of water. A lot of people don't realise this, but when you sleep next to a very large glass of water, Your dreams get recorded in the water molecules, and if you hold the glass up to the light in the morning, you can watch your dreams again up to five times. And if you drink the water at this point, you'll store the dreams forever. We're now going to try a technique that will not only help you remember your dreams, but make you dream much more vividly. I want you now to close eyes one and two, and imagine a giant clock in front of you. The clock face is actually your face, and the clock hands are in fact your hands, and they've been nailed onto your nose. And as the hands tick around, you start to feel sleepier and sleepier. And sleepier and sleepier. And sleepier and sleepier. And sleepier. And now I'd like you to imagine a large wooden door. This is the door to your imagination, and we're going to open it so that you can experience deep dreams. And in order to open it nice and wide, I'd like you to picture the following images. A woman realising there's a pair of eyes on top of her pair of eyes. A hippo trying to climb through your bedroom window. Ten sailors hovering in the air. A tree of fingers. Going on a date with a caterpillar. A man whose legs are a bicycle. Two bees helping an ant move house. A key made out of meat. Waking up and instantly being chased by a hobby horse. A beard having a swim. Three colourful pies. Brushing your lovely wings. The tallest cat in the world. Driving to work in an egg. My friend Stephen Bigglesworth. Dog handstands. A man made out of teeth. A shop for pigs. and the door of your imagination opens nice and wide, and you're bathed in a shaft of love, and there's a liquid trickling out from the door. I'm not entirely sure what that is, but it looks a bit like milk. And when you hear this noise, you're going to open your eyes, and open your eyes. So from now on, you're going to experience much deeper dreams. The only downside to this is that you may occasionally experience much more intense nightmares. And I look forward to relaxing with you again. Goodbye. Relax with Dr. Giles Poden.